Hi, I wanted to do a close-up review of the Tarot Gay Weight. This is the premium edition that you can find anywhere. I really wanted to give honor almost to these tarot cards. These are the ones that were first published in 1911. Um, and it says right here, 78 cards, colors and backside of the cards according to the first edition from 1909. Um, there is a booklet in here as well. But I wanted to kind of honor these cards because even if you have different versions of the Rider Smith Weight, um, Rider Weight Smith decks, I definitely advise getting this first published, the Tower of AE Weight, which is the first published deck with the original pebble back. Um, it comes with this booklet. It's actually really good. It goes into full description of each card, more than other little white booklets that you find with Rider Weight Smith decks, and it gives the meanings there. But I actually, after getting this deck, I actually wish it was like my first deck that I ever got. Um, because not only was it the first actual published, and the little white book has wonderful descriptions on here, more than other versions of the tarot cards, but um, they're not going to be in order because I've been using them. But I have to say, and look at the original backing, the pebble back, um, I have to say instantly, as soon as I got these, they connected with my energy right away. You know when you have those tarot decks where some kind of has to warm up to your energy or... I don't know, you kind of have to build your relationship with the cards. I'm telling you, this was instantaneously. It talked to me so clearly and automatically. Um, really profound connection to these cards immediately. Um, so whether or not you have other, you know, of course, right away Smith decks, you probably have several. I definitely advise to get this tarot of AE weight. And again, this is the one that was first published. Um, I'll show you some of the cards, but I'm telling you the the energy, the exchange, the communication through the cards, everything was like instant amazing. Um, really stands out from the rest. I'm, I'll go through the cards really quickly just so you get an idea. The color is much better and clearer and crisper than other Rider Waite Smith decks as well, um, including the Centennial, um, including the original tarot. Um, tarot deck which is a lot mustard a lot of mustardy colors this has a lot more blues in it you'll notice right away um, really clear crisp images sky background is blue which I really appreciate I like some lightness of the colors um, the type the font is clear I love the backing um, but again going through the cards you can see the coloring is very nice um, but I really advise, I wanted to do just a quick video. They're not going to be in order because I literally just pulled it out. But I wanted to give kind of special honor to this deck, um, not just for, you know, it was the first published, but the colors. I really love the colors of this deck more than the original or the Centennial or um, other decks that come to mind. But the images are really crisp and clean. I really like that. On some of the versions, the images are kind of blurry, especially the original, because that was done from faxes of the plates, the facsimiles of the plates. This is, this is not. So the images are clearer. Um, I really do appreciate the blues, and it's not so mustardy. And most of all, the energy, the immediate connectedness. Um, that you get with the cards. I don't think I would be alone in that. It's really almost magical how it literally, um, very direct, very clean, clear, crisp messages that come through these cards. So again, I almost wish I had so many different other versions of Rider Waite Smith decks. Um, this is one of the later ones that I purchased only because I really was intrigued of getting the first published deck even though I had a, a lot of different other tarot decks. I held off because I didn't feel like I needed more tarot decks. You know, I was very happy with the ones I had. But I'm really, I've never looked back. Once I got these cards, the energy is just, I put them in the front of my storage of my tarot cards because I tend to use these quite a lot now. Um, really crisp clean and the, again the colors are really wonderful and at first I would have thought the first published deck wouldn't have good color it would be more of the centennial feel or the original with the mustards and um, I love that the there's blue sky 
<laughs> that's the big deal for me. You know, like the, the, the colors are really good. The images are cleaner and crisper. Um, so I really advise, even if you have the Centennial or you have the Original or you have even the Radiant or the Universal Weight, um, there's still great color in this deck. And the idea of having the first published tarot card deck, I think there's something magical, talk about the magician, but there's something magical about having the first published deck of the Rider Waite Smith. Um, and maybe that's what I'm picking up from the energy of the cards, I don't know, but I am getting better messages, cleaner messages. I don't have to clarify as many cards. I feel like I'm getting the message co completely and right away. Um, on a different level almost, like in, I don't know, I just feel like I'm tapping in and it's almost, it comes down with the download of the message is almost 100% instantly in the minute. Um, you quickly scan the cards and get the whole message in one download, if I can say, <laughs> like instead of going through each card, it's pretty amazing. Um, I haven't really... Um, so that's why I, just this morning I was like, let me grab these cards and quickly just go through and show. I mean, there's vibrant color in this deck that people might not realize because it is the first published deck, but very crisp, clean images. You know, there are no blurry lines really. On the original tarot, I found that the images almost made me feel a little dizzy. Um, the outlines of the images are a little blurry. I don't know. It's like pixelated looking to me, so I don't tend to use those as much. And um, the Centennial and other version, they tend to be much darker to me. Um, the colors are darker, the images are darker, and there's so much mustard, and I um, don't really enjoy. It's a personal preference, but um, these are very clean, crisp color um, images. And again, the energy from these cards were really pretty fantastic. So I moved it to the up of the, up of the line of where I store my tarot cards. You know, when you have keep your favorites where you can easily grab it instantly and the other ones kind of get moved to the back or um, whatever, but these move to the front of the line. And I really enjoy these, these cards and more importantly, the energy that I really um, is much better, clearer, crisper, faster, getting messages. Um, so I just wanted to go through these cards and just show, just really nice. And this Queen of Cups, just beautiful. And these are the last two. So this was my close-up review, just to show. Um, again, this is the pebble back background, really pretty. Um, so that's really pretty. I really like the backing of these cards as well. Comes with that great guidebook, which again is actually giving you more detail than the usual little white books. Uh, as you can see, it's like a full paragraph, not just a couple of keywords. So that's really helpful too, especially if you're just starting out. I almost wish I got this years ago when I was first starting out. I probably would have been ahead of the game. Um, you know, it's explaining a lot of the symbols in the, in the card and um, going into depth here. Yeah, you know, really like that. And if you want to find it, this is the cover. It's a tarot of AEV, and this is the premium edition. And again, as it says in the back of the card, it's 78 cards. It's the colors and backside of the cards according to the first edition from 1909. And it's a 96-page booklet. Really, really great. So this has been my close-up review of the Tarot of A.E. Weight. And regardless if you have a gazillion different tarot cards and don't feel a need for another one, or you have the Centennial, the Original, the Radiant, the Universal Weight, whatever, I still recommend the Tarot of A.E. Weight. There's something magical about this first published um tarot deck from, you know, Ryder Waite Smith and um, having this. And also, again, I, I really do feel different energy with this. I feel the messages are a lot crisper and cleaner for some reason. So I definitely wanted to pass this along for anyone who is um, looking for a new tarot deck to try. And um, I really like, and, and also that the colors, there's real good color in this deck that I was when I bought it, I was surprised because I thought it would be more about the Centennial and Original 
right away smith you know very mustardy and dark and it's not that at all blue skies crisp color crisp images and fabulous energy so that's my close-up review and um if you'd like to check out other oracle decks and tarot cards check out my channel i do a lot of close-up reviews you might find some more that you like because it's all about feeling the energy seeing the cards messages close up so you can pick the right ones for you all right so take care have a good one Bye bye